The President of the United States. When President Joe Biden delivers his first State of the Union address Tuesday, he'll set out to reassure anxious Americans the State of the Union is strong. We're working again, dreaming again, discovering again, and leading the world again. The facts support the president if he will indeed say what all presidents want to be able to say, and that is the state of our union is strong. It is strong. Our productivity is up. Unemployment is almost what economists consider to be full employment. But convincing his audience will be a whole other matter. Biden will deliver his remarks to a pessimistic American public, exhausted and frustrated about everything from a two-year pandemic to rising inflation and an exploding crisis in Europe. I know this is hard and that Americans are already hurting. Polls show only a quarter of Americans believe the nation is on the right track. Biden's own approval rating underwater, with more disapproving of his job as president than approving. The president of the United States cannot make all Americans happy, but he does have to do what Bill Clinton used to say, feel their pain. And this is a strength, it so happens, of Joe Biden. So expect the president to empathize with the public's discontent, while also shining a spotlight on his successes, touting the more than six million jobs created, the waning coronavirus infections amid vaccinations and therapeutics, and the passage of a bipartisan infrastructure bill that eluded his predecessors. We did something uh, that's long overdue, that long has been talked about in Washington, but never actually been done. Biden is also expected to continue pushing his stalled domestic spending agenda, unveil his strategies for tackling inflation and crime, and honor his selection of Katanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman to be nominated to the Supreme Court. And that should be in the category of this is what I've done for the country, this is what I've done for history. Biden will deliver his address among the biggest global test of his presidency, underscoring what the Ukraine crisis could mean for Americans while hailing the unity of U.S. alliances as the world confronts dangerous Russian aggression. I think the Biden administration has done a superb job uh, of uh, bringing the NATO alliance together. NATO is as united now as it's ever been in the, in the post-Cold War period, and I think that will continue. With November's high-stakes midterm elections just months away, Democrats are hoping Biden's State of the Union address provides a much-needed boost to his struggling presidency. But Perry notes even the strongest speech only goes so far and historically doesn't result in upward bumps to approval ratings. Kelly Daschle, The Associated Press.